Well, as Camille said, uh, Dred Scott is a hugely important figure in the American Civil Rights Movement, the history of civil rights. It's probably something everybody learns about in high school, and then you sort of forget about it and you go on to other things, but for me, it makes it more real and more alive to realize that he lived here for 10 years from roughly 1822 to about 1830. He was here with his below owners. So it's pretty important that this iconic figure for civil rights lived right here for, you know, roughly 10 years. And, and that's another part of it, you know, the historical educational aspect of it. Because a lot of people, black and white and whatever else, they have no idea Dred Scott was even here. So to point that out is cool. And then to educate people, you know, as to the importance of the Dred Scott decision, what did it mean for civil rights? I mean, local judge William B. Wood in his July 4th, 1876 historical address specifically mentioned Dred Scott living here. And then he says the Dred Scott decision was one of the focal points for the Civil War, it was one of the touch points. So it was hugely important in its day. And is there any? Oh, sorry. You're gonna go ahead. Oh, is there anything, uh, any kind of, kind of memorial to Dred Scott right now? In the uh, there is a historical marker on Pine Street at the at the supposed location of the Blow In, and then there is a bronze plaque of Dred Scott on the uh, Walk of Honor at the uh, Riverfront Park at the Marriott. But there's nothing, you know, like this you know, in front of the courthouse. So, I mean, what better place to put up a statue of Dred Scott and his uh, quest for social and racial justice than in front of the courthouse?